ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. Hating namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan. Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Tonya Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This. 106.3 DWBR FM. Facts and information. Today's learning for you normal with capable teachers whose heart and soul are divine. Delivered knowledge inside your home through 106.3 Dance Radio. Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education, we produce of radio-based instruction. We are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education only here on 106.3 TWDRFM. Today's activity with a joyful heart and a conscious mind. Let's greet our approachable municipal mayor, on the Honorable Joseph Christian Dewey. Good afternoon, po, and to our workaholic chief education supervisor and officer in charge, Sir Rod Pasqua. Hello also to our supportive head teachers out there, especially to Mama Phil. Na imbaga biga uh, malemyo, I mean, also to all teachers and staff of dance, and of course the English learning area teachers. Thank you for the unending support. Hello, dear parents and students who are listening right now, most especially to the grade nine learners, to my English class nine pasture and nine SPA. Continue the good work. With me are the other grade nine English teachers, Teacher Annabelle, Teacher Raquel, and Teacher Dennis. Let's listen to Mama Annabelle, Mama Raquel, and Sir Dennis for their greetings. Mama Annabelle. Good afternoon to everyone, lalong lalo na sa ating mga grade nine learners. Special mention sa aking mga anak, grade nine SPJ. I hope you will stay with us. Hanggang sa matapos ang session natin today because this is now the last week for the third quarter. So make the most out of it, mga anak. Thank you. Hello, good day our, to our learners, especially to my grade 9 classes, 9 Lanzones and 9 Avocados. Stay tuned and have fun. Hello, grade 9, Guya Bano. Ayan, mga kaisdyante kong mga Guya Bano, ha? Uh, dahil ito na ang ating last ano, lesson ba tawag doon sa quarter na ito, we are hoping na makapag-submit po kayo ng mas, mag, mas, mas maga kasi sir, mas maganda para hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng problema. So, pagkatapos ito, pwede na po kayo mag-submit online sa akin just in case po na tapos nyo na ang inyong mga learning activity sheets. Sir? Thank you so much, colleagues. Yes, today is a wonderful Thursday full of fun and exciting activities. We shall be airing our lesson in English about staying positive. Mm -hmm. The main objective of today's lesson is be able to judge the validity of the evidence listened to and get familiar with the things to remember when going through tough times in life. So we hope that you're going to stay with us until the end of this episode. Expect a lot of interesting learning activities, Sir Dennis. Okay, so kindly prepare now for your RBI lesson. Get your modules and le lecture notebook and ball pen. Happy listening, everybody! Wala 
ng makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong Sana magtulong-tulong Susulong at magkalitan Dance Radio Language, grammar, and literature. A program that will develop your vocabulary, comprehension, critical and analytical skills. This is the English Learning Area. English Learning Area. Only here on 106.3, the WDRFL Dance Radio. Dance Radio for learning is amazing. Good day everyone, especially to our dear listeners. You are now listening to our school's radio station, 106.3 FM Dance Radio. Let us start our new day with positivity while listening to our enjoyable lesson for today. I am your host, Teacher Nina Jenny C. Guillermo. And I am delightful to be with you. Make sure that you are in a comfortable place and free from any distraction while listening. To start with, let me introduce to you your radio teacher, Teacher Catherine S. Ordinario. Hello, our dear grade 9 learners. I know you are very excited to listen to our lesson. A new day offers the chance to start afresh to achieve those things you most desire. Are you ready to have a new and fun-filled lesson today? Yes, ma'am! Let's have a review on the play titled... The Death of a Salesman Which was discussed in the RBI last week In that play, what is the problem of the main character? The main character has financial problems He is jobless and he has a lot of bills to pay them Amazing answer! What exactly happened to the salesman? Ma'am, he drove his car at the midst of his confusion. He met an accident that caused his death. Excellent answer! What should the salesman have done when he lost his job? Ma'am, he should have looked for another job in order to pay his bills. Wow! I am pleased to hear that! I'm pretty sure you are now ready to learn another new lesson for today. The objective of today's lesson is to judge the validity of the evidence listened to. Now, listen intently to the Tagalog version of a fight song. And as you listen, analyze its lyrics to be able to answer a question about it later on.
based on the song, the singer faces many challenges in life like we do. How does she face her challenges in life? Ma'am, the singer said she must trust herself and that she can overcome life's challenges without fear. Excellent answer! That should be. We can win over trials in life if we find solutions to our difficulties. Stay positive. Never give up. And always seek God's guidance. Alright! What are the challenges that our country faces at present? Ma'am, increasing positive cases of COVID-19 with different strains. That's correct! What actions do our national leaders take to fight COVID-19? Ma'am, the government ensures to give vaccine to every Filipino. That's great! Based on reports, our country has already 1.15 million active COVID-19 positive cases. 1.08 were recovered and a total death of 19,372. In our town, Aurora, there are 551 active COVID-19 positive cases as of May 17, 2021. We should be positive that this pandemic we have been going through will finally end. So my dear learners, stay home and stay safe. Now, answer Activity 1 titled, Unlock Difficulties. These are the difficult words that can be encountered from the text which you will be listening to later on. Directions Give the word that is closest to the meaning of the underlined word. Make use of the context clues to arrive at the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Number one is isolation. The doctor ordered the isolation of sick patients from their families. Letter A, combination. B. Keeping and C. Separation What is the answer? C. Separation, ma'am Absolutely correct! Once you have mingled with a person infected with COVID-19, isolate yourself from the members of your family to avoid the spread of virus. The next word is SHIFT if you want to shift, shift it on me. The word shift means A. Loosen B. Maintain C. Transfer What is the answer? Letter C. Transfer, ma'am. You are correct. Shift means transfer. Continue answering this activity after this broadcast. Let us now proceed to Activity 2 titled, What I Think, I Feel, and I Do. Fill up the table based on your experience during the pandemic. Copy the table and write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Write in column 1 what you think about the pandemic. Alright, let's try answering column 1. What do you think about the pandemic? Pandemic kills numerous number of people, ma'am. That is correct! How about in column 2? What do you feel? I feel scared and worried, ma'am. What should you do if you feel that way? I should observe health protocols to get away from COVID-19 like using face mask and face shield when I really need to go out, ma'am. That is correct! That's the least we can do to lessen positive cases of COVID-19. 
give five answers in each column. Do this activity after this broadcast. I think you are now ready to answer activity 3 titled, Lend Me Your Ears. Listen to a text taken from YouTube titled, 5 Positive Mindsets to Have During the Coronavirus Outbreak. Listen very well to be able to answer the diagram given in your learning activity sheets. It's essential for all of us to do our part in taking a proactive stance against the coronavirus pandemic. Here are five common problems you may struggle with and how you can shift your mindset to a more positive one, especially during these crazy times. Number one. Being quarantined. In light of the coronavirus, many countries have suspended work and classes, advising everyone to stay at home for their own safety. Self-isolation may be hard to adjust to at first, but instead of thinking, I'm stuck at home with nothing to do, try shifting your mindset to something more positive, like I can stay safe in my own home and spend time with my family. Or if you're alone, you can take this time to hone your crafts or develop a new skill. Make the most out of your situation and try to do something productive like learning new cooking recipes, ending to your garden, playing with your pets, and reconnecting with your family. Number two, the risk of contamination. The coronavirus may be pretty contagious, but there's still a lot you can do to fight against the virus and keep yourself safe. Do you tell yourself, I will get sick and worry all the time? If so, try shifting your mindset. I will do all I can to lower my chances of getting sick. Self-isolate, wash your hands frequently, Drink plenty of water, practice social distancing, and always wear a mask when you need to go out. 3. Hoarding and Panic Buying While the public has been urged against hoarding and panic buying, the threat of a total lockdown has made many feel the urge to stock up on necessities. Are you making yourself anxious by thinking, I'll run out of stock at home during self-isolation? If so, it's better to shift your mindset into, I will use what I have, wisely. Assure yourself that you have everything you need for now because you've prepared for this. Avoid giving in to the widespread panic and be the voice of calm and reason. Don't buy more than you need so there's enough for everyone else. 4. Everything being closed Because of the sudden outbreak, many businesses have been closed to encourage people to stay indoors. Many restaurants, bars, hotels, and others are closed, and even most major airports around the world have been closed with travel restrictions placed to keep all flights grounded. But there's no need to panic. Remember that all the most important places are still open. Hospitals, pharmacies, and supermarkets have been asked to continue operating to help us through these trying times. So if you ever need medical attention or more supplies for your household, you won't have a problem getting it. And five, all the uncertainty. It's okay to feel afraid about all the uncertainty around us, but it's important to remain calm and hopeful for the future. Healthcare workers are working hard to treat those infected. Scientists around the world are working to develop a vaccine, and governments all over the world are trying to alleviate public distress and manage the problem. Remember, even though you can't control the situation, you can control what you do about it. Seek information from trusted news sources. Be mindful of your health, Rest if you're feeling unwell and check in on your loved ones. So how are you coping with the pandemic right now? We can all make it through this together, one day at a time. Were you able to understand the text titled, Five Positive Mindset to Have During the Coronavirus Outbreak? Yes, ma'am! What is the first problem that everybody has experienced during the pandemic? Being quarantined, ma'am. That's right. What does the author suggest if one is being quarantined? Do something productive like gardening and cooking new recipes, ma'am. Fantastic answer! What is the second problem that can be encountered during this time of pandemic? Risk of contamination, ma'am. That's correct. 
What does the author suggest to get away from contamination? Self-isolation and social distancing, ma'am. That's good. What is the third problem that can be encountered during this time of pandemic? Hoarding and panic buying, ma'am. That's correct. What is meant by the word hoarding? Ma'am, hoarding is the act of collecting large amounts of something and keeping it for yourself, often in a secret place. Excellent answer! What can we do if hoarding happens? We have to use what we have wisely, ma'am. That's an excellent answer. We may also plant vegetables so we have something to eat in case of lockdown in our places. What is the fourth problem that can be encountered during this pandemic? Everything is closed. Restaurants, malls, movie houses, and recreation centers are all closed, ma'am. Very good! And what do you think is the best thing to be done if everything is closed? Don't panic, ma'am. That is correct. To panic does not give anything positive. What is the last problem that can be encountered during this time of pandemic? Having all the uncertainties, ma'am. That's right. What should we do if we experience uncertainties? Remain calm, ma'am. Very good. Remain calm and don't panic. All right. You have just heard the things to be done to overcome problems brought by this pandemic. I hope you are doing these things and will continue doing this as we fight this global problem we have at present. We just pray to God that this pandemic ends. We will be answering questions after this short break. Do you encounter problems in accomplishing the different activities in your modules or learning activity sheets? Worry no more because your teachers are always ready to guide and assist you. You can send your questions or clarifications in two easy ways. One, call or text. And two, private message. So easy, right? Remember, at Doña Aurora National High School, we make amazing things possible. This reminder is brought to you by Doña Aurora National High School in this station. I'm back! Let's now summarize what we have discussed today. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! According to the author, what are the five common problems that we might encounter during the pandemic? According to the author, the five common problems that we might encounter during the pandemic are the following. Being quarantined, risk of transmission, hoarding and panic buying, everything is closed, and all the uncertainties, ma'am. Perfect answer! How can a person create a positive mindset out of these problems? Ma'am, with these given problems, we could create a positive mindset through shifting our minds to other things like music, arts, gardening, and discovering new hobbies. We should continuously improve ourselves and see the positive side of every problem, no matter how bad it is, ma'am. Very well said! Always remember, my dear learners, that during this time of pandemic, we should remain positive. All right. We normally encounter problems in our lives. How can we develop a positive mindset, especially in times of struggles? Always remember that in every problem, there is always a solution. 
God has given us the willpower to look for the solution to any problem we encounter in life. Couple your prayers with actions. Be optimistic. Amazing! That was an extraordinary idea. I hope you have understood our lesson. Kindly give your reflection about the things you have learned from today's lesson. Positive thoughts create positive things. Let's all do our part to overcome this pandemic. We must observe health protocols and if it is not necessary to go out, don't go out and avoid going to crowded places. Stay home to avoid transmission from COVID-19. That's an excellent answer. Kindly give another reflection about the things you have learned from today's lesson. To remain positive is to make ourselves busy like discovering our hidden skills in music, arts, writing poems, landscaping, and many more skills and hobbies to develop. That's great! As learners, to make yourselves busy, you have to stay at home to study your modules and accomplish your requirements. Let me check if you have gained something today. Analyze every given statement carefully, then state whether it is true or false. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! Number 1. Happiness is found within. What is the answer? True, ma'am. Happiness is found within. That's correct! Number 2. Positive attitudes create negative outcomes. What is the answer? False, ma'am. Positive attitudes create positive outcomes. Negative attitudes create negative outcomes, ma'am. That's right! Next, number three, overthinking will lead us to sadness. Is it true or false? True, ma'am. Overthinking only leads one to anxiety. Amazing idea! Alright, we are now in number four. You will be successful if you quit. Is it true or false? False, ma'am. Quitters never win. That's an excellent answer. Finally, number five. Negative thought is a single obstruction to victory. Is it true or false? True, ma'am. Positive thinker becomes successful. So, let's remain positive in all circumstances. Wow, that was a superb idea. I'm pretty sure that you have already understood our lesson. Reminder, before I end, I want you to answer all the given activities and assessments in your learning activity sheets after this broadcast. That's all for today. I will now turn you over to our host, Teacher Nina Jenny C. Guillermo. Thank you, Teacher Katy. We would like to acknowledge our script writer, Teacher Rosabel Arbrillo. Language editors, Teacher Jonah A. Budwan and Teacher Susana B. Dumon. Wow! Our content editor, Teacher Ophelia S. Ralutin. Together with our technical specialist, Teacher Michael Jan Tumula. Wow! Thank you for staying with us for another lesson of fun-filled teaching and learning experience. Another lesson is done for today. For you to fully understand your lesson, you can read again your learning activity sheets. Your teacher will wait for your questions or queries about your lesson for today through text messages, messenger, and emails. 
for your next lesson, we will be exploring more on literature, so be prepared for more exciting and fun-filled activities. Make sure to always tune in to our school's radio station, 106.3 FM Dance Radio, where learning is amazing. Again, I am your host, For today, Teacher Nina Jenny C. Guillermo, leaving you an inspirational quote of life from an unknown author. Positive attitudes create positive outcomes. Now, signing off. Language, grammar, and literature. A program that will develop your vocabulary, comprehension, critical and analytical skills. This is the English Learning Area. English Learning Area. Only here on one point three, the WDRFL Dance Radio. Dance Radio for learning is amazing. Nang makakapigil pa Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio Sa Aurora Isabella Edukasyo'y susulong Basta na magtulong-tulong Susulong at magkalitan Dance Radio have just heard our RBI lesson. The title, Staying Positive, shows that we shall be having another interesting discussion for today. Recall of the previous lesson will be given by Mom Annabelle. Delving deeper on the previous lesson will be discussed by Teacher Raquel. Teacher Dennis will discuss updates about COVID-19 particularly about the things we do during the limited face-to-face -face classes. If I am not mistaken, it will be next week after the following. Mama Nabil? Yes, sir. You're correct. Okay. So may we have a recall of our previous lesson, my dear learners? Let's check. Kindly key in your answer to this question. What did we discuss last week? Sige nga, so let I comment nyo nga dyan, if you can still remember. What did we discuss last week? What's the title of the play that we discussed last week? Siguro bibigyan natin ng 20 peso worth of cell phone load ang unang makakapag-comment ng answer. Meron na ba, Ma'am Raquel? Parang wala. Wala. Okay, uh, Lori Faye, Faye Orate, Orate, 9SPJs. Ang sagot po niya ay Death of a Salesman. Okay, you are correct, Lori J. Okay. So last week, we talked about the play titled The Death of the a Salesman. A Salesman. Okay. So let's again check if you can still recall the details of the play. Our PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So I'm going to present pictures and from the description given, you will react by giving the possible result or effect or reason or cost. So dito anak, collab it, collaboration ito, find a partner, then send your answers in the chat box. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pwede nilang, pag nag, sumagot na sila sir, pwede nilang i-comment yung pangalan ng... Grupo nila, tsaka sila-sila, lahat oh, sila. O, yung partner nilang partner sumagot. Nila. Okay. So, here's the first picture. Ayan. So, in the picture, para sa mga nakikinig ng radyo, the picture shows the main character, Willie Lowman. So, in the picture, the salesman, Willie Lowman, was one of the best salesmen in the town. Okay. 
So, yan yung picture. Siya yung pinaka, isa sa best salesman sa lugar nila. Yes. Uh, nakatayo okay, here siya, is mama. the question. Mm-hmm. What do you think is the effect of this to Willie and his family kung siya ay isang successful salesman? What do you think is the effect of this job to Willie and his family? So, pwede nang mag-comment ang mga anak nating grade 9. Mm-hmm. Willie was a successful and be- one of the best salesmen in town. Oh, kung ganyan ang tatay mo, what do you think is the effect of this job to Willie and his family? May sumasagot na ba, Sir Dennis? Oh, wala pa, ma'am. Madya, baka ano, medyo mahi- matagal ang internet natin, ma'am. Ang internet natin. Yes, ma'am. Oo, medyo mabagal. Mm-hmm. Maulan kasi eh. Okay, sumagot yeah. na si Angeli Pineda and her answer is accepted. Sinong kasama ni Angeli na sumagot dito? Pakicomment, Angeli, kung sino ang kasama mong sumagot sa number one. Ang sagot niya is, saan na yung sagot ni Angeli? I think his family had a stable life. Kung ano Si Christian Vino, his started believing that being a salesman is the only way to succeed. According to Cyril May Limos, if he's successful, his family is rich. So we can accept, sino yung unang sumagot, Sir Anjali Pineda? Pakicomment, Anjali, kung sinong kasama mong sumagot, anak. Okay. Tinanggal ko na. Okay. So, Willie, in his younger days, Ay, siya lang mag-isa. Lang o, mag-isa. Sa susunod na mga tanong anak, dapat meron na kayong kasamang sumagot, ha? Mm-hmm. Pero very good pa rin. You can work on your own. Pero itong next questions natin, dapat may kasama na sila, may partner na. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Willie, in his younger days, as a salesman, became appealing to many customers kasi good-looking siya. Eh. So, as a result, he could supply all the needs of his family because he earned a lot. He had much money. Mm-hmm. Okay, kaya sabi nila, stable ang life nila. Okay, next picture. Ayan na si Willie. This salesman was exposed to different clients as well as pretty ladies. And so, he wasn't able to resist temptations. Ayan, meron siyang kaakbay na ibang babae, may kahawak kamay pa. So, how do you think was Willie's family, especially his sons, affected by this disloyalty? Okay, kindly comment your answer. Kung ang, ang tatay ay merong ibang karelasyon bukod sa kanyang asawa, how do you think will his family be affected? Kagaya nyo, kung meron kayong dalawang GF at the same time. Oh, sir. <laughs> kung dala, dalawa ang girlfriend. Uh, Christian Vino, uh, may kasama siya, pero ang sagot niya ay, uh, si Precious Athena at, uh, at Joyce Benito, ang sagot nila ay, he had an affair with a woman in New York. Mm-hmm. Nice, try. nice try. Nice try, anak. Mm-hmm. Uh, sino pang susubok, sumagot. Thank you for participating. Dapat may tindihan nila. Ano yung, ano may, ang tanatim, yung tanong nyo ay... Ano yung epekto nito? Si, ang ano sabi niyan? Ano ang epekto ng pagkaroon As ng he was babae, caught by his son, his son became angry at him. Mm. Okay. Ayan, sa mga tulit siya pala. Okay. Oo, oh, oh. pwede natin Dino. tanggapin yan. Sinong anak naman ang matutuwa na ang tatay niya ay may ibang karelasyon bukod sa kanyang ina? Yes. Wala naman siguro. Okay, so we will accept Christians. Christian answer. Vino. Sinong kasama niya? Kasama niya? Okay, si Athena. Okay, congratulations. Ma'am Raquel, so, lapit po lang yung microphone mo. Yung <laughs> microphone mo. Okay. Si Athena ang kasama. Okay, niyo. thank you. All right. So, <laughs> Willie Lowman was successful. Maraming pera, tapos guwapo pa. Siyempre, yeah. maraming siyang, maraming mm-hmm. babae ang may in love sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Pero, hindi maganda yon mga anak. Willie Lowman committed adultery. He became disloyal to his wife. And at the same time, to his sons na. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sa palig ng babae, yung, 
Sa babae, fornication. Sa pag-asawa, adultery. Tapos, concub- ang tawag sa buo, concubinate sa lalaki. Ah, oo. So, ah, ganun yun. Tama, Tat- sir. Tatlo lahat yun eh. Oo, oh, pala. So, si Willie Loman, ang nakumit niya, sir, ay? Concubinate. Yes. Ay, concubinate. concubinate. Okay, thank you, sir, Vic. Pag kinorek mo ako. Adultery, pag babae ang nakakumit ng, ng ganong crime. Okay, concubinage. Thank you, sir, Vic. Alright, so ang result nito, hindi, siyempre, nawala yung trust ng mga anak sa, ng yes. mga anak sa kanilang tatay. Okay? Mm. So, Actually, in the play, Biff, one of his sons, became rebellious. Para nag-rebelde siya. Kasi yung tinitingalan niyang tatay ay babaero pala. Okay, next picture. Ayan. 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 Yan Malapit na, na yan. Malapit na. <laughs> so, in the picture, makikita natin, that is Biff. Yung Biff was one of the sons. That was his report card. Mm-hmm. whose grades were all failed. Bumagsak lahat ng grades ni Biff sa school. Mm-hmm. Now, my question is, why do you think Biff's grades were all failed? Bakit kaya siya bumagsak sa school? Aakit lang tayo sa unang tanong. Nandun na yung clue. Uh-oh. How would you relate it dun sa unang diba? pangalawang picture? Ayan. Ano kaya ang dahilan? Ha? Bakit Louis kaya? Zone, no? Ma'am Raquel, meron na bang sumagot? Wala. Dito, sir, sa akin wala, wala pa rin. Ha? Ano kaya ang dahilan mga anak? Bakit uh, bumaba ang grade ha, ni Beef? Ayan. Matapos niyang madiskubre. <laughs> Ganang-ganang pa na yun eh. Ayan. Sige mga anak, ah, huwag kayong matakot. Ayan, ah, sabi ni ano, ni Christian Vino na naman eh. Nahuhuli. Oh, sabi niya, Precious Aunt, uh, Athena at Joyce Benito. Baka iba iba sumasagot sila ng kapangalan. It was because he can focus as he has a problem with his Father. Uh-oh. Sabi naman ni Jennifer Apostol Rodriguez, family problem. Pero wala siyang kasama. Cyril May Limos has uh, his feeling uh, because uh, he's not focused on studying. Uh, uh, number Si Angela Pineda naman because he is distracted about their family okay. problem. So- Oo. In short, sir, sino ang nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Lahat ng sagot nila ay tama. I- kaya lang ma'am yung una. Ano, There na- is one important um. thing that uh, Beef uh, made attention to and that distracted his education. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. It is not yes, about the, directly the family, but he concentrated on what that is what we are going to see uh, the answer. Yes, sir. So, aside from the family problem, uh, he did not uh, focus on his studies anymore. His outlet was playing football. Mas gusto niya maglaro ng football kaysa mag-concentrate sa kanyang yes, pag-aaral. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kanino natin ibibigay yung, yung premyo, Sir Dennis? Uh, pe, na, 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 napili na kasi na sila Christian Vino kanina, ma'am. Ah, uh, yung sinunsumot. Diba ito, kung ito ang usapan natin dito, diba? Kung dapat collaborate, dapat ito, diba? Oo, dapat, Sir. Eh, karamihan po kasi, ma'am, eh, kwan, iisang, ah, si Anjeri, tsaka si, you know, kasama niya, Althea May Galabay. Because he is distracted about their family problems, sabi niya. Uh-uh. So sa kanila, sir, bibigay natin. Sino, sir? Anjeli? Uh, Natasha Perlton. Kasama niya si Sarah Litan daw. Ay, nanalo Beef. na sa Anjeli, sir, at saka Ay, si okay. Christian Pino. Uh, Thank you, mga anak. Okay. Si Natasha. Natasha ano? Perlton na lang, ma'am. Beef okay. can't focus because he has problem in family, sabi naman niya. An- Sinong kasama niya, Si sir? ano, ma'am? Si uh, Sarah Litan. Yan. Natasha Perlton tsaka si Sarah Lee Tan. Ay, magkapatid. Grade 7 si Sarah Lee. Oh, thank okay. you very much, Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nag-participate si Sarah Lee. Grade 7 siya. Mm-hmm. Sa so, Anjeli and Christian, anak, bibigyan na lang kayo ng bonus points ni Ma'am Susan. Yes, mm-hmm. ayan ha. Okay. Bibigyan ko rin si Sarah oh. ng bonus points sa DR. Yay! Uh, din daw si Sarah Lee ng bonus points ni Sir sa DR. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Okay, next picture, Ma'am Raquel. Ulitin natin ha, yung mga sasagot po, kailangan may kasama kayo. Uh, uh, dapat may partner. Okay. So, the picture shows Willie Lowman had a lot of bills to pay. Mm-hmm. Marami siyang babayaran. Why do you think Billy Lowman, Willie had a lot of bills to pay? Bakit napakarami na niyang utang na Bakit dapat ba? bayaran? Why? 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 Bakit kaya mga anak? Ayan, tignan natin ang sagot. Sa previous uh, slide, meron yung partner niyang ibang babae. Oo, oh, oh, yes possible. sir. 
Uh, ano pa? Bakit kaya siya nagkaroon na ng maraming utang sa paglipas ng panahon? Sir, may sumasagot na ba? Si? Ayan ha, sumagot sa atin. Si ano, si Cyril Maylimos kasama yan si Jazer uh, Jolo Edralin. Willie have a lot of bill to pay because he's in debt. O nga anak, ayan na, bakit nga siya nagkautang ng ganon? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sige. Ayan na, may, may nakakuha na si ano ah, si Christian. Ay, pero nanalo na siya. Thank you ulit Christian Bino and Precious Athena Joyce Benito. Sige. Correct yung sagot nila kaya lang nanalo na sila. Bigyan natin ng ano, Yan. chance yung iba so, anak. Chance iba yung ano, yung mga ibang ano ha. Si Marilyn. Yan, sige natin ha. Dapat may partner anak, may partner. O oh, meron na ba Sir Dennis? Uh, wala pa rin sa akin, ma'am. Kasi uh, siguro baka yung internet nila, ma'am, hindi masyadong uh, uh, good. Ha? Ang ano. Uh, si Christian at saka si Altea ulit yung... Si Altea ba yung partner niya, ma'am? Okay, next is uh, Cyril, ha? Limos. Kasama, ayun, diba, yun yun? Cyril May. Eh. Nanalo na si Cyril May. Nanalo na ba siya, ma'am? Kasama si Jaser Jolo Edralin. He's in debt because his business is not going well. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice try. Talaga, ha? Second time. Galing, Ay, pero ha? nanalo na siya. Okay, so sila yung nanalo. Oo, yun na idea, ma'am, ha? Yun po idea. And Jay, sir. Mm-hmm. Jay, sir, Jolo, Edralin, nine, Chico. Yes, so yun ang idea. Hindi oh, oh. kumikita ang business. Hindi kumikita ang business niya. Kasi, as Willie Lohman got older, Of course, di ba pag tumatanda, usually good looks fades, ba? Yes. His good looks faded, kaya nawala na siya ng mga customers. In other words, mismanagement na rin. Because nobody like to hire him anymore. Matanda yes, na siya. Nagkaroon siya ng ano, parang mismanagement na rin nangyari, oh, ma'am, sa business niya. Nagkaroon na siya mismanagement na. na punta nag-vision mm-hmm. ng ganon, yung nabanggit natin kanina. Napunta sa other woman. Napunta yes, sa other sir. woman. Tapos, yeah. napabayaan na yung pamilya niya. Yes. Okay. So after many years of his struggling, the aging salesman lost his job and nobody liked to hire him anymore. Mm-hmm. At the midst of his confusion, he drove his car and met an accident that caused his tragic death. So malangit na ang kaluluwa mo. So yun, sir. So lungkot ng buhay ni Willie Lohman, sir. Sir B? Okay, if you were the salesman, how could you stay positive? You lost your job, and yet, you have to pay a lot of bills. Raquel? If I am a saleswoman, <laughs> let's look for another job. Tama. Okay? So it is important that we discuss the family situation to the members of the family. Diba? Somehow, they can help earn for a living and practice thrift to be able to pay lesser bills. Mahirap nga namang sinosolo, di ba, Sir Dennis? Dapat sinishare para gumaan. Yes, ma'am. That's right. The salesman has two sons, ha? Who can already earn a living. The wife can also run a small business and plant vegetables that lessen the expenses. The salesman should have stayed positive in overcoming challenges in, uh, in the family. Yeah, yun yung mga kailangan gawin nila. Kahit sa mga anak natin, na mga estudyante natin, ibig lang sabihin nito mga anak, alamin din nyo kung anong financial na situation nila, di ba sir? Kasi hindi, hindi dahil nakikita nyo masaya na rin tatay nyo, okay na. Baka mamaya sumusobra na rin kayo anak sa paggastos, yan ha. Kaya kailangan magtiis, nagtitipid din po tayo. Ayan uh-huh. po. Mm-hmm. Yes sir. Okay, thank you, Teacher Raquel and Teacher Dennis. Napahangin ako, di ba? A review of the lesson taken up a while back. I think you are now ready to discuss with us our new lesson. Yes, sir. So today, you are expected to judge the validity of the evidence listened to. You listened while back in our RBI lesson. You will be answering tasks later on to validate what you have listened to. Since April 1, There has been zero COVID-19 positive case in our town as posted by the Rural Health Unit. And so, 
our school is now eligible to conduct limited face-to-face -face classes. According to our school survey, around 400 grade 7 and 400 grade 10 learners will join the throng of in-person attendance come April 18. So, estimate the number of classrooms to be prepared if 20 learners per class shall be accommoda accommodated. Okay, uh, mag magkocompute kayo dito anak. A 20 peso load will be given to the first sender with correct response. So, kung 400 grade 7 learners ang willing na magpumasok at merong 20 learners in a classroom, ilang classrooms ang ipe-prepare ng, ng school, Aurora. ng Doña Aurora National High School. Ayan. Sige, tingnan okay. natin so mga grade 7 na. lang, grade 7 lang. Ay, hindi na to ano, hi. Anak, hindi na to ano. Collaborative pa rin ba ito? Ah, kahit hindi na, sir. Kasi <laughs> basic mathematics ito. Basic okay, na, sige. Uh, sige. Ilang ko classrooms lang... ang dapat i-prepare for grade Cli 7? Sabi ni Christian, 20 classrooms. Sabi naman ni Anjali Pineda, kasama si Altea Galabay, 20 classrooms. Yan. Sabi okay. naman ni J uh, Marie Alesa Banigue, 20 classrooms. Okay. J. Wal Canilao, 20 classrooms. So, kanina natin bibigay, sir? Uh, yung na na Sabi ano, natin ano first, sagot? kaya lang pala, eh, uh, Ilang beses nang ninak. Christian, thank you anak. Thank you talaga. Nag-participate ka. Pero pwede ba natin ibigay ang price dun sa pangalang uh, sumagot, sir? Maria Baniget. Si ano? Uh, Maria Elisa Baniget. 9 SPJ, 20 SPJ. classrooms. Yes. So 20 classrooms will be prepared for grade 7 learners and 20 classrooms for grade 10 learners. So we have a total of 40 classrooms. Ano ba, ano For 800 learners. 20, sir. Kasi grade 7 lang tinanong na. Ah, okay. Okay, congratulations, <laughs> Maria Elisa <laughs> Baniket. Yes. Thank you, Anjali Pineda and Christian Vino. Mm -hmm. Okay, according to the uh, office, uh, maari pang pumabul yung may gusto dahil bukas ang orientation ng parents. Ah, okay. So kung may gusto pang sasama, uh, pipirma doon sa memorandum of agreement, ay pwede pa silang kumabal na mag-interson. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay po. So how do we stay positive by that time when in-person school attendance will be allowed? Yan. Pa dapat positive lang tayo ha. Kasi pag nagkaroon tayo ng uh, uh, school attendance, ha, ganito po mangyari dyan. You need, guys, uh, students, listen as I, I enumerate the things we, you are, we are going to do. Ano? I believe that uh, your parents will uh, tell you what to do because tomorrow there will be an orientation given by the, the, uh, the advisors. Okay? So ito yung una ha. Uh, listen, uh, grade 9, hindi lang siguro grade, uh, grade uh, hindi lang siguro to grade, ano ha, hindi lang to grade 9, lahat na studyante, ha, nakikinig. There will be an assigned point, uh, point of entry and exit at the school gate. May entry, mayroong exit. You stay 4 hours, 4, 4, 4 hours and 30 minutes uh, inside your classroom, observing physical distancing upon entering and existing, uh, exiting. Bring your own snacks and eat in your own room. Okay po. And number four, observe minimum health protocols at all time. Uh, face mask, okay, uh, alcohol, physical distancing. Remain calm. Don't panic. Just follow the health protocols. Stay positive. Make this pandemic a chance to be with your teacher and to get acquainted with your classmates. Okay. Yan po ha. This time, Teacher Raquel uh, has prepared a vocabulary activity for you. Ayan. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'll be presenting a vocabulary activity. Okay, so, are you excited, our dear learners? Yeah, okay, excited na sila. I bet you are. Nila? <laughs> yeah. 20. Yay! Okay, the title of the lesson is Staying Positive, mm -hmm. right? So, Let's give the real meaning of staying positive. So listen carefully. So this is item number one. Okay, number one. Okay, so stay positive in life, especially in times of troubles. To stay positive means being blank to handle difficult 
si circumstances. Ano kaya yan? So, this uh-huh. word begins with letter O and ends with letter C. Yeah. So what is the other term for staying positive? Yan. Sa Tagalog, positibo. Diba? Positibo. Mm-hmm. Yan. Ano po yan? Okay, answer. meron na sumagot. Uh, na, na, sorry, sorry. Hindi ko masyado agad nakita ka agad ang una. Uh, actually, ang nauna ay si... Oh, pero na nahalo na kasi ito eh. Uh, Titingin tayo na. Gerald Fernandez, nine atis. Ang sagot niya ay optimistic. Okay, optimistic. In Ilocano, okay. mang namnama tinasaya at uwen no tirumbeng. Uwen, apo. Right. Congrats. Uwen, apo. So, ayay. <laughs> Congratulations, Gerald <laughs> Fernandez. Hey. Hey. Hintayin mo na lang yung reward mo, anak. Okay. Uh-huh. So next. Ipapadala namin si LBC, ha? One, one <laughs> month yun. <laughs> Mahala kayo. Okay, next. Number two. Now, let's proceed to the next word. Yan. Okay, so another vocabulary is mindset. Mm-hmm. For example, the book accurately captures the mindset of the teenage girl. So, mindset means way of blank. It begins with letter T and it is eight letter word. Tinapay? <laughs> word. <laughs> Ay, may sumagot na. Sorry, oh, sorry. Letters lang may, po. Oh, uh, may sumagot na. Pero si Christian pa rin eh. Uh, Felirita Annabel si... Cupido. Parang, Naku. Um, parang namang ano to. Para, <laughs> bibigyan pa ba na? Sige, mahal mo na magbigay sa iyo. Kaya, ang sagot niya ay thinking. Ayan. Pero Vita is also grade 7, sir. Man. Ay, ganun grade 7 siya. Grade 7 din siya, sir. Katulad yeah. ni Sarah Litan. Mm, may bonus ka sa mama mo. Mm-hmm. Ayan, sige. Wala siya magagawa. Sinabi na namin eh. Felerita, Uh-oh. you are correct. Correct. Oh, ayan, okay. ano, so, nga, mindset, mga nakikita ko. Ilocano is yes. Pinagdasar ti panunot. Mm-hmm. Pinagdasar ti panunot. panunot. Ayan ha. Uh, Doon sa mga ano, nasa ko lang sa mga guyabano na nakikita ko rito, meron kayong ano sa akin ha. <laughs> Sige. Mm. Okay, now let's have a short recall of what we have just listened while back. In our aired RBI lesson, the highlight of the lesson is staying positive. Based on the listening text, there are five positive mindsets to have during the coronavirus outbreak. We know that the pandemic is far from over yet. Hindi pa tayo tapos, ma- mahaba pang panahon. Parang nakikipaglarapatin pero lang, na lang tayo ngayon sa COVID-19. So we have to wait when our government declares that COVID-19 is already endemic. Endemic means that COVID-19 is considered as an occurring disease but does not cause morbidity or death like coughs or cold, or a condition regularly found among particular people or in a certain area. Number one problem that can be encountered during the pandemic is being quarantined. Pag naka-quarantine, sir, nakakulong, nakapupok to ni Tibalay. Ay, wait, no. Kasi ang word talaga ng quarantine, yung kul- nakakulong talaga sila eh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, what mindset can we have not to get bored during quarantine, Ma'am Raquel? Well, <laughs> do something productive like discovering your talents in playing musical instruments, ano pa, sports like chess or dama, okay? Arts, gardening like planting vegetables. Alam mo, meron yung mga isa dyan nagpadala sa akin, sir, ma'am. Ang ginagawa nila nung during quarantine period, sir, naglalaro sila ng scramble ba tawag doon? <laughs> o oh, yung, yung puzzle na scramble tawag doon, scramble words, yun ang nilalaro nila. During, ano, during quarantine ng pamilya. Hindi kasi sila makakalabas ng bahay <laughs> hanggang doon sa area ng... Mm-hmm. Kami nanood kami sa YouTube ng mga luto-luto, sinubukan naman namin. Kaya pala. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya pagbalik, wala nang kasyang uniform. <laughs> okay. So the second problem brought by this pandemic is risk of contamination. Pegad a ah, kadadaelan. Yung para bang, yung bangarang ito yung risk, yung, yung, yung mahahawa ka, yung, yung, yung madanagan ka nga makuha, di ba? Kasi mahahawa ka, mahahawa pa. ka pa. So what positive mindset can we do to get away from contamination? 
-hmm. To observe social distancing, always use your face mask and self-isolate whenever you have mingled with someone who is positive with COVID-19. So using your face mask, especially KN95, reduces the outward particle emission rates by 95% effectiveness of cloth face mask is generally lower than that mm -hmm. of medical mask. Eh, ano tong gamit ko ngayon, sir? Ano uh, kanya, ma med, uh, surgical, med surgical mask. Surgical mask, surgical mask. Yes, ma'am. Meron pang pagkakataon na they require double face mask. Yes, ah, yes, sir. Mas, uh, no. maganda yung... Pero kapag daw bakunado ka na, is kahit okay na yung isang ano, face mask. Mm. Pero hindi ibig sabihin kung bakunado ka na, hindi ka na hindi makakawa. Ka na Oo. Yes, sir. Okay, so how about the third problem? Okay, that can be encountered during the coronavirus outbreak. So this problem is hoarding and panic buying. Oh, pag hoarding, oh. ma'am, mang duldulin, winumangi, lemeng. <laughs> oh, bumibili ka ng maramihan para, idil, para itago <laughs> mo. Oh, oh. Business din niya para kumita. Oh, yun. Yun ang negative side. Yun ang na dalawang negative side niya, sir. Yes. Bumibili na marami para pag wala na, may benta niya na mas mahal. Oh. At yung isa naman, nagtatago kasi takot mawalan. Uh -oh. Tama, tama. Hoarding. So, benta niya ng mahal kasi oh. the demand is high. Yes. yes so, ano ba tong hoarding? Hoarding is done by few of us. Mm -hmm. If you have a budget to buy your needs, you buy in volume, not minding mm -hmm. others' welfare. So this is not a good practice. Yes. No? Let's think also of others' welfare. In cases of scarcity of resources, we may plant vegetables and practice thriftiness by all means. Example nito yung hoarding yung paracetamol and vitamin oh, yes. C. Uh -oh. Noon. Naubos noon yun, ma'am. Mm. Uh -oh. Pag Hoarded panic, last year. Mm -hmm. Pag panic buying naman, ito yung gumatgatang gapu, tiriri, bok, when no, buteng. Oo, mm. na ano, gan, para, naranasan ko yung pagkakamaibusan. <laughs> yun di, oh, meron mga tao, yan kasi ma, magkasama yung hoarding tsaka panic buying. Mm -hmm. eh. Diba? Apo. So if you have also abund abundant supply, share some to others like putting up a community pantry or donating to community pantries. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Nauso yan dito sa atin nung ECQ. Yes, ma'am. And the first community pantry was put up in Maginhawa Street, yan. a middle-class re residential area in Quezon City, City on April 14, 2021. Oh, yeah. So, Anna oh. Patricia Non, yes. Ay, the 26-year-old oh. organizer of the first community pantry, place a single bamboo cart containing basic food items on Maginhawa Street. At ang slogan nila noon, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, Kumuha manguha ayon sa pangangailangan. pangangailangan. Yan ba yung kaso ma'am na may kumuha ng marami? Ay, sir, Ay yung may iklub pa. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Cording. <laughs> Cording. <laughs> Pero maraming gumaya dito sa yes, community oh, pantry natin na recognize pa ito sa ibang bansa. Yes, ma'am. Hanggang Canada. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So next, the fourth problem that we have experienced during the early months of pandemic is everything is closed. Nakasara lahat. Na? Most establishments were closed like restaurants, malls, movie houses. Oh, sinihan. Kailan mo bukas ang sinihan natin? <laughs> Transportation terminals, barbershops, and many more na lahat ngayon ng binanggit ko ay nakabukas na. Maliba lang sa sinihan. <laughs> uh, now, almost all businesses are operating. Maliba ulit sa sinihan. <laughs> but it does not mean that we become complacent. Maging, ano tayo ha? Hindi tayo dapat maging kampante. Yan. What mindset did the writer suggest when everything is closed during pandemic? Anong anong kan yun? Anong mindset kaya yon? Pag lahat ay pag 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 lahat ay nakasara. Ano tatakot tayo? Hindi pag, tayo makakalabas. Yes. So ang sagot doon sir natin ay don't panic. Di ba? Don't panic when everything is closed. Don't panic. It's organic. It's organic. <laughs> don't panic. It's organic. <laughs> yes, don't panic. Hindi, <laughs> 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 the joke lang. As long as... 
Ako, naku, magkakapit-bahay po ta kayo. You may discover new recipes. Ayan, guys, ginawa ng isang kasama ginawa namin, namin kanina. Ginawa namin ang anak ko yan. Oh, not necessarily going to restaurants naman, ha? Anymore. And there are a lot of opportunities that may be, that we may enjoy uh, doing despite the pandemic. Ay, ha. Uh. <laughs> Yes, sir, Vic. Okay, and finally, the last problem that can be encountered during this time of pandemic is all the uncertainties. Yes. What is uncertainty? Uncertainties are doubts, worries, and fears. In Tagalog, walang kasiguruhan, pag-aalala, pangamba, at takot. Pagduduan, sir. Haan ang manamnama. Inilukano? Haan nga manamnama, sir. Okay. What will happen to the human race? When will this pandemic end? Those are our uncertainties. But what did the writer say in times of uncertainties? Become, stay positive. That's right, Sir B. We need to stay positive. No positive results if we worry of the uncertainties. Yes. Our government has tried to vaccinate everyone from the first dose the second dose, and then the booster dose. Almost everyone was given already the complete dose of the vaccine until all of us would be immunized. So just follow the health protocols because we can still be infected even if we are vaccinated. COVID-19 is just around the corner to spread its tentacles of contagion again. Wag pakakampante, sabi mo kanina, Sir Dennis. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. So you have just learned the five positive mindsets to have during the COVID-19 outbreak. What are those again, Teacher Annabelle? All right. So the five positive mindsets to have during the COVID-19 outbreak are... Number one, do something productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two, self-isolate and practice social distancing. Three, use the resources available around you. Four, don't panic. And most especially, number five, remain calm, stay positive. Okay. Okay. okay, now let us see how our brothers and sisters in Batanes did something during the COVID-19 crisis. Sir, De Sir Dennis uh, delivers to us the news about um, okay. uh, about the Ibatans, about the Ibatans, about the Ibatans. Yes, Hopefully, sir. we don't have lockdown again. Okay. okay. Sir Dennis. Okay, here's the news. Ibatan turns to Bayanihan amid COVID-19 crisis. While Batanes province has been experiencing a shortage of food and medical supplies amid the surge in COVID-19 cases, Ibatans have resorted to Bayanihan or community cooperation by pooling their own resources to help health care workers and quarantine residents. Locals have been donating food and hygiene kits to quarantine and isolation facilities while an online group chat was created to seek aid for COVID-19 patients and frontline workers. In a statement on Thursday, Governor Marilu Kaiko said the province would hold a mass vaccination as soon as it received 6,000 doses of vaccine against COVID-19 from the national government. As of Wednesday, the number of active cases in the province rose to 204 with the addition of 48 cases on the same day. Dr. Jeffrey Kansiran, chief of Batonis General Hospital of BGH in Basco said they no longer had enough supply of medicines to treat COVID-19 patients. BGH is the only COVID-19 health facility in Batanes. According to Kansiran, some residents failed to observe minimum health protocols when fencing, when fetching water after the typhoon. That's all from newsinfoinquirer.net. Okay, sir. Okay, Ma'am Annabelle. Okay. So like the Ivatans, why not convert pandemic into opportunities like a stronger band with family? Developing your talents or, or skills like painting, 
Digital works like video editing, joining in an online devotion, and of course, studying your lessons in your modules. Ang dami pwedeng gawin, ma'am, di ba? Ang dami pwedeng gawin. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to share with you the seven things to remember when going through tough times in yeah. life. Mm -hmm. so, parang kailang, eto na, ways of becoming positive. How can you stay positive? Number one, always remember, everything ends. Even bad times end. Yes. Uh -oh. Walang yes. forever. So whether it's good or bad, it doesn't last forever. When a situation is troubling for you, it may seem as if it will never end. But that's just a subjective and distorted perception. Our minds tend to expand negative events as they happen. So it appears like they've been going on for a lot more than they really did. And as if they will continue to go on for a long time. Pero hindi. Walang forever. Diyos ko, matatapos <coughs> din yan. Matatapos din. Okay, number two. <coughs> Yan, ganda yun. You've overcome challenges before. Nasubukan mo na ito. Nalampasan mm -mm. mo noon, malalampasan mo ulit ngayon. So another way to address the feeling that a bad situation will never end is by thinking about similar situations that you, you went through in the past and you've successfully overcome. You can find a precedent nearly every time if you think hard enough. So when you do this, it acts as a reminder of your ability to handle challenges and get past them. So it boosts your sense of self-confidence and it eliminates the sense of helplessness. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, may we have the third one. Remember, you have lots of strengths as a person. Marami kang kayang gawin. When the going gets tough, it's common for us to stop seeing our strengths and only be aware of our flaws. Thus, we see ourselves as losers, incapable to rise above difficult situations. But this is never true. Just like any other person out there, you have a combination of strengths and weaknesses. The key is to remind yourself that you have lots of strengths. Yes, okay. ma'am. Tama yun. Tama yun. Number four na tayo. The fourth one, it happens to everybody. Yung problema, nangyayari sa lahat yan. Think that it's not only you who experience difficulties in life. Everybody has problems. It depends on how you Tama. handle mm -mm. them. Frequently, when facing hardship, our thinking will trick us into believing that this happens only to us. And other people don't go through the kind of difficulties we go through. It almost seems like the universe is plotting against us and wants to hurt us. But Marunong that's not true. Marunong lang silang magdala ng kanilang problema, problema sir. Kung kaya nila, kaya mo din naman. Yes. Okay. So in reality, everyone is always struggling with something. Tayo nga, pagpasok natin, eh, marami na kagad tayong iniisip na Paano na naman kaya mo, maya, bukas, ganyan, hati ng oras. So, hindi lang sa'yo nangyayari, anak, sa lahat. Yes. Okay? Number five, it's a learning experience. Problems teach us life's lesson. Marami kang matututunan sa mga problema yan. Learn from them, huwag kang padadaig sa problema na yan. It is often said, In the personal development world, that there is no failure, 
only feedback. When going through tough times in life, though, we tend to forget this. We see failure as an indicator that we're not on the right path, but not as a learning experience which can put us on the right path. Most learning in life comes from trial and error. error. And when things aren't going the way you want them to go, the best, the best thing you can do is to try to understand why this is happening and learn from the experience. Pag nagkamali, dapat matuto ka sa pagkakamaling yan. Hindi yung uulitin mo na naman ang pagkakamaling yan. Kapag nadapa, Pag natapa, bumangon ka. Okay. Tapos mahiga sa... Buhay, no. nakahiga mahiga sa malambot. <laughs> okay. Number six, you can always ask for help. Yan. Seek advice to matured... Eh, seek advice from matured and experienced people. Maraming hmm. willing na tulungan ka. Lumapit ka lang. Magsalita ka lang. So when facing hard times, it's a good idea to remember that there are people in your life that you can rely on for help. Even if you're not the most social person in the world and you don't have a lot of friends or a big family, there are still people in your life that you can rely on. And these people form your social support system. Many times, just thinking about them and realizing that they are there for you in case you need them provides you a lot of emotional comfort and it gives you more courage to push forward. Di ka mawawalan ng pag-asa pag alam mong meron ka pang mapupuntahan o malalapitan. Kaya nga, may sinasabi silang mother knows best. Oo, marami pa. Maraming nagmamahal sa iyo. Okay? And the last one, there are a lot of things to be grateful for. Count your blessings, not your problems. These are probably the strangest times of your life, not even considering other areas that you are trying to deal with right now. That's less than ideal. But if you think about it, there are still lots of things that are going well in your life and there is still a lot to be grateful for. Parang tayo, we often say, ang hirap ng trabaho natin, but we should be thankful dahil maraming walang trabaho. Kayo mga anak, ang hirap mag-aral, but be thankful dahil nag-aaral kayo. Maraming hindi nakakapag-aral yung kailangan ng magtrabaho. Kailangan i-give up ang pag-aaral para makapag-trabaho. Yan na naman ang ulam. Be thankful dahil maraming walang makain. makain. Nagkakalkal pa sa basura para may makain. So remember, there are a lot of things to be grateful for. Marami kayong tayong dapat ipagpasalamat. Oo, tama okay? yan, Yes, sir. Okay, sir, sir Vic. Okay, for our, for our learners' final task, analyze the statement to be given, then tell whether it is true or false. Ayan na. Type your name, section, and the item number, and answer in the chat box. Uh, send your answer to the chat box. Number one, a positive okay. mindset so. during challenges in life is everything ends. So, problem ends. Okay. Is it true or false? So, name, section, item number, then your answer kung true or false. May sumagot okay. naman, Raquel? Yes. Uh,
Nanalo na si Baby. Oh, bibigyan ka rin ng mga unang addition. Say <laughs> will true. And Lord, si Jewel, yes. Lakanilaw. True. Okay. Yan, Jewel, true. Lakanilaw. So, siya well, na. Rita, bibigyan ka na lang daw ng share week ng, ng bonus points sa DR. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pinapasalamatin natin ating sponsor, ha? Si hey, Ma'am Larna Tan uh, Nevado. Okay, okay. thank you, Ma'am Larna ah. Tan Nevado para sa prizes natin ngayon. Thank you, Ma'am. Salamat po, ha. Sa prizes po namin. Sa kanya po galing ang ating mga prizes. Thank you so much. Ma'am Larna, thank you po ulit. Ayan. So, number two. Number two. Problems are blessings in disguise. <laughs> Problems are blessings in disguise. True or false? Meron Ayan. Sa, the Cyril may limos. No, no, Nanalo na rin si Cyril. Cyril ha. Cyril Bigay natin sa iba. Cyril ka kay Ma'am Raquel. Oo. Na, <laughs> Christian Vino na. Oo, pero okay ha. Salamat sa mga sagot. Hazel Joy. Okay siya. Ano section, sir? Uh, nine Sabi Avocado. Anong pangalan, sir? Uh, Hazel Joy. True. True. Okay, okay. correct. Ayan. Uh, Hazel, ha? Ayan. Okay. Problems are blessings in disguise because problems can make a person stronger emotionally, spiritually, and morally. Sir Dennis? Ayan, na, nasagot na sir, na, 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 nabasa na natin yung ano niya. Yes sir. Okay, congrats. Oh, so challenges and problems ha? are important parts of life that give you experiences mm -hmm. and make you learn and help you become wiser and stronger. So problems make you grow. True. Problems shape you. Mm -hmm. They just stay positive. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, all right, for our final output, based on your last uh, learning activity sheet, react to the article titled, Five Posi uh, Positive Mindsets to Have During the Coronavirus Outbreak in Not Less Than 100 Words. We are done with our lesson in quarter three. You will be hearing our voice again during quarter four this coming May. Okay, Teacher Raquel. So this is Teacher Raquel saying thank you for your active participation. I hope you all enjoyed while learning. This is Teacher Annabelle saying train your mind to see the good in everything. Positivity is a choice. This is Teacher Dennis saying, if you are positive, delicado ka na, de joke lang. If you are positive, you you see opportunities instead of obstacle. According to Confucius. Ang tabayanan ng susunod nating RBI lesson ng Mathematics for Grade 10. Susunod na, makalipas lang po ang ilang awitin. Bye-bye. Ciao. Thank you. and information. Today's learning for you normal with capable teachers whose heart and soul are divine. Delivered knowledge inside your home through 106.3 Dance Radio. Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education we produce of radio-based instruction. We are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education only here on 106.3 TWDRFM. Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo, hating namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan, ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Tonya Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This 106.3 DWBR-FM